National Nutrition Professional Supplement Reviews. Three minutes of the latest natural health info with Canada's leading natural health experts. Watch, learn and get healthy naturally. Hello, this is Carlene Karst, registered dietitian and nutrition expert for nationalnutrition.ca. This is a professional review of sodium. Did you know that sodium is an important part of our diet? Most people think that sodium or salt is bad and that it should be avoided. Sodium is not the enemy. In fact, sodium is required for good health and it's a nutrient we need to keep in balance. This means we can get too much sodium from our diet and that will eventually lead to high blood pressure, water retention, bloating and dehydration. It also means that we might not get enough sodium if we restrict it too much or are on medications that deplete sodium. Signs that your sodium is too low are abdominal cramps, confusion, dehydration, dizziness, fatigue, headaches, impaired taste, low blood pressure, muscle weaknesses and heart palpitations. Sodium plays a role in maintaining the water balance in the body and is essential to the electrical nerve signaling throughout the body. So how does sodium work? Sodium maintains water balance by drawing water towards it. Wherever sodium is in the body, it will do this. So if there's a lot of sodium in your blood vessels, it will draw water towards it. This will increase the volume of blood in the blood vessels and will cause high blood pressure. This can also lead to swelling and edema of tissues. Sodium also plays a role in nerve conduction. In a water environment, sodium has an electrical charge and our bodies use this to make our nerves transmit information. Sodium is also an electrolyte and maintains pH balance. Most people eat sodium by adding salt to their food. Health Canada advises that sodium intake should be between 1.5 to 2.3 grams daily. Many Canadians are eating 3 grams of sodium daily, which is too much. This is more likely if you eat processed foods which are high in sodium because it is a good preservative. Use natural salts like sea salt or Himalayan salts to flavor your food and cut out the processed junk. You can also add seaweeds to your diet like kelp, dulse and nori, which naturally contain sodium and potassium along with other essential minerals like iodine. You'll find seaweeds available in flakes or sheets that you can add directly to foods. Doctors practicing complementary medicine recommend a slight increase in sodium intake for some individuals who are not getting enough. This often occurs in fibromyalgia or other situations of adrenal fatigue. Keep your electrolytes balanced and take sodium with potassium. They occur together in many foods like seaweed. So remember, sodium is not the enemy. It needs to be balanced in the body and you can throw that balance off by eating too many processed foods high in sodium. Or you may not be getting enough if you are on a medication that depletes it, like many diuretics do. Use sea salt, Himalayan salt, or seaweed for your sources of sodium and add them to your diet. Make sure you don't exceed Health Canada's upper limit of 2.3 grams of sodium daily. That's our professional review of sodium. Check out more of our natural health videos, subscribe, or if you have a question, leave it here. And remember, knowledge is health.